Dirty Dining to the fifth degree. Well, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears made her fifth Dirty Dining visit to the same shopping center right near Summerlin, and tonight she let you in on a sushi secret. Inspectors couldn't believe everything they read on this sushi menu. Hanabi in the Village Square Shopping Center listed super white tuna, but actually served up Escalar. You can find super white tuna all over the sushi restaurants. That's not that's, actually that's super all or colors. Or that's tuna. all as colors. Escalar is not tuna. It's a kind of snake mackerel, a deep sea bottom feeder that can be bought on the cheap and sold more expensively when it's called super white tuna. But it's not tuna. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hanabi owner Andy Kim says the misnomer is more like a nickname. I mean, it's nickname, you know. A nickname, yeah. but it's like one's mackerel and one's so, tuna. So once they brought it up, I just erased it. Took it the off menu. the menu. Yes. I'm, I mean, I don't have to take the risk to sell it, you know. Escalar does carry a real risk. Mother Jones Magazine dubbed it the X-Lax fish due to the severe gastrointestinal problems it can cause. The FDA does not explicitly ban Escalar, but advises against distributing the fish. It is banned in other countries like Italy and Japan. Everything's poisonous, you know, everything. Even grass, you know, I mean, you know, even vegetables too. Tomatoes. Everything. Speaking of tomatoes, inspectors found black growth on these in the Hanabi fridge and a cut tomato sitting on a dirty shelf. What happened mm -hmm. there? I mean, after nights, uh, I don't know why they left it there. Kim says inspectors came before the restaurant opened while staff was still cleaning up from the night before. It was going to be removed anyway. We don't use those. Every time I tell my employees, if you can feed your family, you can feed the customer. We don't serve anything. You don't serve your family. Would you serve your family this? Inspectors found mussels next to an open soap bucket and Teflon peeling inside the rice cooker. There was dried food debris on knives, bowls, scoops, strainers, and cutting boards, mold in the ice machine, and excess greasy, dirty buildup throughout the kitchen on equipment and floors. A total of 37 demerits, earning Hanabi a C grade. I mean, this time they were here for five hours. You know, they. I thought they were trying to find something. Hanabi is the fifth Village Square restaurant to appear on Dirty Dining. Along with the sea grade on February 12th, it was ordered to clean up within 48 hours or face shutdown. I was kind of stressful. I, I didn't sleep for three nights. You took it personally? Yeah. His restaurant recovered and was back to a zero demerit A grade on February 19th. I really don't know what I did wrong, you know. Kim thinks health inspectors need to better understand cultural differences in food preparation. I mean, everything's different. Everything's procedures different too. He doesn't believe in a one size fits all health inspection process. The same grade and same number of demerits fit two restaurants this week. Mona Miga B in the Paris Hotel Casino on the Strip also got a 37 demerit C. Find out what was expired and where health inspectors found a hair, plus a statement from Mona Miga B on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.